Okay, I'll explain it. Alright, when you start the game, you start back here. This is where you spawn. Uh, this is your rift right here. This thing. You have a gate over here and a gate over here. The enemy objective is to get their minions here to this little point. You know, through all these gates and these guardians. And once a minion makes it here, it subtracts from the top number. You see the blue is always yours and the red is always the enemy. Uh, when a minion gets into your rift, it takes away one point. Some minions are worth one, others are two, some are three. And this right here is your kill box, your little war room. And these are traps that players put down to kill the enemy minions. And right now, I'm on defense. This is what defense does. Is they, they kill these minions. And by killing these minions, you see I'm getting the, the combos and everything. That's from me hitting them and killing the minions as well as traps hitting as well. And it, and it increases your currency that you receive. There's two different currencies. You have coin and you have leadership. If you look at the bottom of my, my action bar, you'll see that uh, to the right of my picture, I have 2,119 that of, of the top number. That's coin. That's what you use to upgrade your weaver, which I'll explain in a bit, and place down traps. You have a max of 13 traps per player per match that you place down. The second number, the fist, is called leadership. You get that for escorting minions and things like that. And you bring them to this door right here and use leadership to upgrade minions and put up here. Once you fill all these slots, it takes a thousand to fill up a slot. Once you fill it all the way up, it'll upgrade your minions to the tier two. And then you have to pay the, the currency to upgrade your minions and so on and so forth. And it becomes more to upgrade every time. And I have to go back to defense real quick. The waves keep spawning, so. Yes, Koos, if you want to join me next game, for sure. Um, more than welcome to join. Okay, now when you start the game, you only have one war camp available and that would be this one so you run down your hallway okay whenever you spawn you run down and then you take a right and another immediate right this is the orange war gate this is what you start with open and of course it'll be level one instead of rank two it'll be one and you start with whatever minions you have available which you get more minions for the cards that you receive uh, through packs that you get for leveling up and you buy with the in-game currency. Nanania, welcome. <laughs> Nobody's supposed to be watching right now. I'm stress testing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Nana, it's... <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm teaching his saw. He was asking me about the game. I'm going to hook him up with a key when I get out of this match. Uh, I've been having a lot of issues with my, my stream. With, with my computer, really. Uh, so, I've been putting in a lot of hours to fix it. and I'm just making sure all the fix, everything's fixed now. And it seems like everything's good. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> Gonna upgrade my minions. Okay, so his saw. This is your second gate. All right, you come when you come down from your spawn. You take a left, and then go through this corridor. You take another left right here. Now this gate by default is already closed. You have to put in the the leadership to open it. 
so that you can spawn minions out of that gate. Now, when those minions spawn out of that gate, they come down through this path over into the enemy territory. Now, you'll notice this is similar. This is all enemy traps right here. Like if I walk over the brimstone, it's going to catch me on fire. These are our minions right here. So, if you look at the map at the top right, you'll see that the blue dots are headed on the left-hand side up through the, the enemy you know war room and the objective is to get to the tops and you know they're on a, a linear path they only go that way unless you have gnolls and pride hunters then those minions will actually chase you know enemy players only if they're nearby they'll chase them up through the pathways like this right here and then after a while of chasing they'll go back You can close your gates. There's these little switches right here. You have to press F on that. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, so what I was saying about your weaver, use your coin to upgrade that, as well as place traps down. You unlock weaver slots at level 8, uh, account level, level 8. <clears throat> And to access that, once you have one, you press the U button, and that opens it up here. Uh, and then, you know, like right here, I had to pay 3,000 coin to get the extra mana. It grants 50 extra mana for my champion, for my hero. This one gives me all damage. Base damage is increased by 17%, and the movement speed... Uh, and then you have your trickle leadership which gives you three <clears throat> every every second you gain three leadership so it helps you constantly get it even when you're running around the map trying to get places like I'm doing right now alright so you see I just placed the last thousand uh, leadership in here so now we're upgraded to tier three um, war camp now I don't have the thousand leadership to upgrade to these greater minions but this one um, was only 500 and it's a, a very rare card to get in a pack so I lucked out getting that so that's that's the reason I got that tier three in that slot was because of that And you just keep placing traps over here. Um, the enemy hasn't opened up their second gate yet. They've been working on just the one. So. Their minions are getting stronger and stronger in this one particular lane. Okay. And I'll show you. So you come out of your war camp or your war gate here. And this is the enemy minion path. This is the enemy uh, gate. This is where their minions spawn. And they come down through here, but I've done cleared them out. Now this is a glyph. Yes, the minions can break the gates. This right here, this green thing, is a glyph. Now this one in particular is a minor health glyph. It increases the health of the minions that cross over it. Uh, so when they get here, they have an increased uh, health pool. Yes, the Weavers, this right here is permanent for the whole game, for this particular match. Now, when you go into a new match, it all resets. Now, unlike League of Legends where, you know, you have items and things that you, you buy, you know, this is what you get. You have three different Weavers to choose from, you know, in your deck as you level up, you know, your account level. 
you unlock more slots for different weavers. And once you choose a weaver, you can never go back during that particular match. You can't change your weaver. So now I'm, I can't go to my, my arcane or my lightning. I'm stuck in my leadership weaver. Alright, so let me show you the other side. Now, this is the other side down here. This would be the uh, where the other defense would go, would be right here. You would put the rest of your traps here. If you look at the map, you see all of your team's uh, places where you can place traps are outlined in blue. Anything that's outlined in blue, you and your team can place traps. So I can place traps here and ground traps, things like that. See, if I walk out, you can't place traps. Now this is the other enemy's gate right here. They haven't opened it yet. So no minions will spawn down this way. But it's always good to place traps um, ahead of time. Before those minions, you know, before they open that gate, you always want to have some kind of, uh, you know, traps already placed to help defend. Normally it's a surprise when they open that gate. I wasn't here, so these guys got through a bit. Let me kill these guys and I'll explain guardians to you. Okay. So this is your guardian. It attacks enemy champions. This guy... You see how my Guardian's chasing that guy? He started attacking me. Well, this Guardian, he's there to help uh, kill minions and things like that. You kind of want to keep this gate closed unless you have to open it. Um, once the Guardian dies, you'll see a slot like this underneath him. And that's a Glyph slot. <clears throat> And once your guardian dies, it opens up this glyph slot for the enemy team. The enemy team can place their glyph on this slot. You, you on your team cannot place a glyph there. So you have to be weary of that. Yeah, I see it. I, I'm just taking my time right now. Trolls are really, really strong in this game. I don't want to die. Now, my particular ability allows me to heal. If I can actually hit him with it. Yeah, trolls are super strong. Alright, so he's dead. Now I'm going to go upgrade my orange minions. Now if you see at the bottom left of the screen, you have yellow and you have orange. And then you have the number in them. Uh, in the shield. That lets you know what tier the gate is. See, I just placed all these traps here. Now these are arrow walls. This one right here is fire. As you see, it's orange. It shoots fire uh, arrows. Now it'll do damage, and then it'll put a, a flaming dot on them. And then these are these shoot uh, electric arrows out. I need to get back over here and defend real quick. Now there's the minions have resistances, and fire seems to be the best at the moment. Uh, trolls, orcs, and ogres have negative resistances to 